Hey Flossmiths, it's Sarah. Sorry, I missed this recording. Um, for my square arm stitching, today is December 11th. It is the 11th day of Flossmas. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for giving me a try. Thanks for the support. Just thank you. We'll jump right on in with what's going on with me. Not much. I worked today and then I stitched. Random chores. Not a lot. But um, I didn't do any stitching at work because it was a short day. Saturdays are our busiest days, so I never take cross stitch in. I always take knitting because that's something I can throw on my desk real quick when a customer comes in. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I did from, with my knitting first. Um, this is Moonshine Fiber Company's Mystery Sock in the colorway Your Mom. They are, are no longer in business making pretty yarns and stuff but I finally have heel I turned my heels all the colors and yeah as you can tell bit of a Star Trek fan the original okay I like them all even Enterprise and I love I love them all but I'm definitely a Kirk and Spock girl but anyways there's my socks I turned the heels so I'm just going to have to do the ankles, cuffs, leg, legs and cuffs. Wow, you think I'd never knit socks before. But that's mainly what I got done at work today was turning the heels finally. And then the stitching I did do was when I got home and I worked on, I got thread everywhere. Park ho Hopper, I can't, I don't know why I can't see that. Park Hopper Bart's Winter Welcome from the, um, Black Neil Society box, the Advent box. And this is the progress I've made. I don't know if I can't see the sparkly etoile and the hat and the actual snowman. And yeah, I made his nose, his carrot too long, but you know what? Big carrots are good. Anyways, so. I'm trying to finish the color. Like I just have his other arm to do and then it'll be nothing but black for the hat and then all the rest is white. So I'm trying to knock out all the colors so I just have the white to focus on. I like the sparkle of the etoile, but man, I did not like stitching with it at first. At first it was, it was weird and I can't do a loop start, which sucks. But I got used to it. And just like any white, I hate how my white stitches look. But overall, it's going to be cute. Little, little sparkle. And then I'll finish. I'll probably finish up his other arm and finish the hat tonight. Or try to anyways. And then put him away. And tomorrow. Oh. That fabric is 32 count linen in Winterberry by Fortnite Fabrics. It also came in the advent box. And then tomorrow I'll start my, oh, that was for hashtag, hashtag 12 days of stitching with the Black Needle Society. Sorry guys, my, I'm very scatterbrained today, tonight. And tomorrow will be the last day of 12 days of stitching with the Black Needle Society. And I'll be starting Hello Winter by Plum Street Samplers. So I'm looking forward to that. Plum Street Samplers is one of my faves. And then now we'll go on to the advents. So this is day 11 from the stitchy box. Do you hear it? It's bells. Plus I wash, <laughs> I, I wash floss tubes while I eat my snacks and lunch at work. And so I'm always, I'm washing all the floss misses. So none of these are surprises to me. Uh, who else gets the, uh, stitchy box? It's Trisha from Thrall Knits. She gets the stitchy boxes. So I see everything. But I can't remember if I saw day 11. Is that day? I can't remember if she did day 11. Did I watch her today? Well, I can't remember. Anyway, it fell. It is. 
silver bells, teeny silver plated steel ball bells. You can add to your stitching or tie around the neck of anyone trying to sneak up on you while you wrap presents. I can definitely find a use for those. An ornament, something. Yeah, I'll find a use for those. And then a nice list from the Black Needle Society. Day 11 is Advent Fabric Number no. 2 from Zweigart. Fabric chosen by the designer for the second custom nice list pattern. And I'm quite happy with it because, huh, it doesn't say what size it is. If it's like 28, 32, thir yeah, that's hard for me to tell. I think Linux Stitches Create said the same thing. It's hard for her to tell too. I want to say 32 count. I feel like it's a 32 count, but I honestly, poof, until I stitched on it to see how big the stitches were, my eyes don't want to tell me. It's weird they don't say what size it is. Anyways, it's just this very pale silver gray, which my lighting, my lighting's not going to help me in any way, but it's this like silvery gray which I love. It's a very good neutral. I love... I can't wait to see what pattern is going to go on there and what threads are going to go on there. We should get our thread pack tomorrow. But yeah, it's a very nice silver. Even if I don't like the pattern, I will definitely use this for something. I'm very, very happy with that. I actually recently switched to the Neutrals Club for a Stitch Me because when I went to get my fabrics for 12 days of stitching, I realized holy shit, I have a lot of funky colors and all the patterns I had wouldn't fit on them. So I needed some, I need to up my, up my neutral uh, stash. So switch to that. So I'm looking forward to getting some neutrals from Brandy. Uh, like I said, Bastichamy is my favorite fabric. And then haul. I told you I splurged and or got my Chatelaine as my reward for, um, hitting my goal weight and slash losing 200 pounds from my highest weight ever. I ordered the Chatelaine Egypt Garden. Mm, that's an awful picture. It's so small. Let me see if it'll come up. There it goes. Bigger version on my iPad. Look how pretty. Oh, look at the, look at the pyramids. Oh. I honestly cannot wait to start that. I ordered the pattern from 123 Stitch, and I did order the bead pack and thread pack from uh, European Cross Stitch, so I'm not sure when that'll arrive. But, oh, when it does, I'm gonna be a happy girl. Oh, I just realized I don't have fabric. <laughs> what crap. I'll have to see if I have fabric for this thing. Like, see, in the picture, they did it on white, and, you know, you can't go wrong with white. Everything pops on white. In this picture, they did it on like a sandy color. Ooh, I really like it on the sand color, like that sandy color. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into. Ooh, I don't think I have any. I did have kind of sandy colors, but I'm pretty sure I've used them all. See, so yeah, I'm at door fabric too. Darn. <laughs> I think I can live, but I'll wait till the beads and the thread pack come in before I uh, tackle the fabric. But so that's exciting. I'm really looking forward to starting that. And that's all I've got for today. But just a reminder, if anyone is interested in this little pattern of tiny mittens, I got it in the stitch me box the other day. I will not stitch this. I will not stitch these. And they'll just sit in my stash taking up space. If you want them, just say the word mittens or mitten somewhere. And the next week or so, I'll just send it to somebody. See, I got an envelope with a Christmas card in it. All ready to go. So if you want it, let me know. Just say mitten or mittens. That's it. That's all I've got for you today short and sweet. That's what Flossmas is all about. 
Obviously, because I'm doing floss mints every day, I'm not gonna do my normal floss tubes. Normal, I did like two before floss mints started. <laughs> but you know, I try to aim for a Tuesday, um, but I'll have nothing to show because I've shown everything every day. So I probably won't do a normal floss tube until the end of the month. So stick around for floss misses. Yep, that works. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.